Yo, I've been in traffic for the last 90 minutes driving this car home. Freaking Ricardo seats. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this fresh interior everywhere. Probably really shaky right now filming with one hand. <laughs> Fuck yes. We did it. I'm like. I don't know, 15 miles away from my house right now. I've been driving for like the last 90 minutes. But yeah, we're in the new freaking car. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look okay. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So the car is mostly stock. Um, it's got H&R springs. I don't remember AMS or ETS, but it has a downpipe. But the stock cat is still there. It's still really quiet. Stock exhaust. And uh, then it has stock tech pads and I forget the brand rotors, but they look cool. They're nice. Brembo's. Oh yeah, the Brembo calipers, but the pads are stock tech. I these, don't remember uh, the These look familiar. I don't know what. I can't. Are you sure these are not Brembo rotors? Uh, they're not. I know because these. I know there's a brand out there, and I'm not sure. If it's Brembo or not, but there's a brand that does that specific uh, uh, vent, uh, slots right there. The previous owner sent it to me. I don't remember. I can look at it, but yeah, it's not Brembo. I'm pretty sure it's a company with like three letters as their name or something. And you got some big brakes there too. You got some big brakes. It's all stock. <laughs> I know it's chalk, but it's a GSR. So the car is. <laughs> it's all right. You you remember me? But that's because race car. I don't know though because I looked at two other Evos and they didn't have like this fake leather lining, which is nicer. And there were every Evo I looked at was 2014, including this one, and they were all white too. <laughs> but this one has like a different interior. By I don't know, it has like different linings inside. Uh, it has like the OEM head unit and stuff, touchscreen. It's it's pretty shitty though. <laughs> Go with like uh, one of the the Sony and the Miata is a good one, good yeah. option for that. Maybe. But honestly. What more do you need? I like this one though because it it's has... so simple. Yeah. Like it's nice because it's so simple, right? Yeah. Like the only thing I'd tell you to do is like with the interior, just change the head unit for that Sony or like <laughs> like a CarPlay, and then everything else just goes to some performance. Yeah. But honestly, the car is very clean. You should not do what you did to the 240, even though the 240 is nice. I'm not gonna wide body. I'm probably never gonna wide body in another car in my life. <laughs> Why is that? It's just too much of a hassle dealing with everything. But wheels honestly, and fiberglass <laughs> but honestly this car is beautiful man <laughs> yeah i know I, I love this car no this car is beautiful and you said you, you said you, when you told me it's like i'm getting the, this car it's like you said before when i knew it wasn't when i knew it was this car that i'd be happy with the choice and i am happy with the choice <laughs> when you said that i was like porsche but then you're like nah nah he's not a porsche guy he's jdm I do like Porsche, but oh, it does have an ACT clutch as well. I forgot about that. Ooh, okay. So it's so kind of it can handle some power then. It's like my I don't know if you, you never drove my STI, but that one had an aftermarket clutch too, and that was pretty heavy. Like this is way heavier than stock. Way heavier than the Miata. I'm, I'm assuming this car. I don't remember this car. This car is pretty easy. It's heavy, but it's I don't know. I guess I'm used to heavy clutches. The shifter is kind of lame. <laughs> so that'll probably be the first thing is a short shifter, and then like wheels and a cat back, and that's pretty much it. But these, honestly, the car already looks pretty great as is. Yeah, the car is on 245s, <laughs> which is a pretty wide tire for a stock wheel. They're know, 18 right? by eight and a half. And it's four, 245, uh, is it 245 square? Yeah, 245. Oh, so you got, you got some grip on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pedal is really firm, like the brake pedal, it, it stops. It, the brakes feels nice? Yeah. Did you put that legend sticker on there? No, that's like, not Dustin Williams either, but if you know who that is, I don't know. But yeah, I came with it. <laughs> I got it for free. It's just dirty as hell from all the wind that's been no. happening this past <laughs> week. I'm having, I'm having a hard time deciding if I should have this car or the 240 in the garage at my grandparents' house. I'm probably going to switch off like every week. That's the right thing to do. And get some car covers too, like some uh, outdoor car covers. Yeah, I've got a lot. It's it's hard getting covers for these cars like the STI and the Evo because of the way. <laughs> yeah, I always had to get custom ones. Yeah, I bought I bought a I bought a Mini Cooper cover, but it was for the just a Cooper, not the S and the JCW, and it has that little wing on the back, oh. so it stretches. Yeah, and I had to also <laughs> make a make a hole for the antenna to poke out. Yeah, so 
Oh yeah, this car has an antenna too, I forgot. I've never had a car with one of those. It's kind of weird. I feel like, a stubby. I like never notice those in pictures. Either you can get a stubby or get the fin. The fin antenna. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, they yeah. make it for this car. Yeah, with the Miata, when I got the aftermarket head unit, I had them cut the power line to the antenna so it doesn't go up anymore. So I have no like radio service, but I only use Who needs radio? Team. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I had them do it. Because I don't like when it comes up. <laughs> Honestly, you made a good choice. I like it. You basically got this car as if like some some old guy got it and just kept it the way it is from factory. No, it was a guy, a kid who owned it. He really? bought, he had bolt-ons, but he took them off. So it was fine. But no, but he kept it really clean. No, Caesar, if you're watching this, I like I commend you for how clean you kept the interior. Like it's insane how clean it is for considering the mileage of the car. I don't understand how this is possible. No, this is there's like there's no dust anywhere, no hair, fur, lint, like. When I got it, it still had like vacuum patterns on the seats and stuff. No, he did a great job. Not only that though, but I'm not sure how he drove it or where he drove it. But you know, the one thing, because my Mini Cooper was really clean when I bought it, 45,000 miles, eight years old. But it has a new chips. It has a new bumper. That's why. Oh, okay. Because it was in a front end crash. Oh, I didn't really say that on camera, but yeah, the car was in a front end collision. Nothing major, no frame damage. It has all new OEM parts. Yeah, it has new headlights, or it had new headlights. So yeah, so that's the only thing, that's the only problem I had with my Mini, it's just like a lot, a bunch of rod trip, chips yeah. and tracking <laughs> and going in the canyon. I mean, from right here, it looks fine. Right here, but then if you go really close, you yeah. can see him. But whenever we shoot him, we always spot heal any damage <laughs> like that. I Like seriously, we do, I do at least. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, no, you, good purchase. <laughs> good purchase. I commend you. Here. So what's the difference between the 4B11 and the 4G63? I'm not like an Evo expert yet, <laughs> um, but as far as I know, uh, so the 4G63 is iron block aluminum head, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 4B11 is all aluminum. So I'm assuming it's lighter. As far as I know, they are more efficient as well. The 4Gs, they do handle more power better just because of the iron block. Uh, as far as like internals, I know the 4B11 is good up to like I want to say 400 wheel 350 torque area um, which is pretty easy to get to with bolt-ons and like E85 um, yeah honestly for like a mild build the 4B11 is a great engine from what I've read so far obviously I've only had this car for like three hours now <laughs> uh, but I have been doing my f a fair amount of research all my Subaru friends are kind of hurt right now especially because I put a Hawkeye STI on my story and then I was like, psych, everyone th thought I was getting an Evo, but then I was like walking towards this Hawkeye. I got a lot of DMs about that. Yeah, I already knew the mischief that was about to happen, so I already knew. So, yeah. also tell me what's the uh, stock uh, stock power and torque on, on this car? Uh, like it's rated for 291 crank stock, I'm pretty sure 291. Uh, yeah, dyno stock is like 240, but if you get a Pro Tune on a, even a, like a bone stock Evo, you can get them up to like 260, 270, I've read. So it's 240 to the wheel and then 291 uh, to the crank? Yeah, that's according to Mitsubishi for the 291. And um, torque? I don't remember. <laughs> you, don't remember you don't remember the torque? <laughs> no. The torque is what makes it go fast. The horsepower is just keeps it going fast. Yeah, this car is pretty much stock. It does have, I don't remember the brand. It's either ETS or AMS for the downpipe, uh, but it does have the stock cat, no test pipe yet. Um, I do have to revert it back to stock for the smog, which I'll probably do this weekend. Um, yeah, so I was actually talking to Caesar, the previous owner, and he said with just a downpipe, he didn't really notice a difference. You can hear the blow-off valve a decent amount. I was kind of surprised. Um, I'm going to guess it'll be quieter, though, with the stock downpipe. So after the smog, I'll probably put that one back on. <laughs> now, the other question is, how much does this car weigh? Because I, I know it's an all-wheel drive car, so they it's are heavy. So my blah by STI was 3260, something like that. Which is pretty light for an all-wheel drive car. Yeah, I think new STIs are around 3450, around there. And this car is over 35, which, so it's definitely heavier than the STI, even the current STI. But I don't know, from reviews and everything that I always read, everyone always says the Evo feels lighter and that it has better steering feel and turn-in and response. Uh, the Evos do have more of like a linear power band, kind of linear, uh, while well, the STI is mainly all top end. 
one cool fun fact about the Evo is that the speedometer does go up to 190. <laughs> does it go up to 190? Yeah, it reads up to 190. No, but does the car go oh, up? Oh, no. I'm going to guess it's limited to like 130 or 140. I haven't looked that up yet. <laughs> um, yeah, everything else is pretty st is all stock. Trying to do bolt-ons. Going to start probably with an intake in the upper intercooler piping. Get like 10, 15 horsepower. And then cap back. And then I would like to get a Pro Tune. We actually have KTM motoring down the street by your dad's shop. Oh, they're yeah. like, they're the car? Evo shop to go to. Yeah, you see, you know, my shop is the shop to go to and all the other shops to go to around there too. Yeah, you know, around the corner from your shop too is Blackbird Fabworks. Yeah, yeah. And they're like the Miata gods. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like, not only are they the Miata gods, but they're the, the cage guys too. Yeah, like, the, the, cage the guys. fab guys, yeah. Yeah. There's also, um, I think it's called Fabworks by you um i've used them before they did some welding for my 240. Tribe, Tribe point is also what used to be pretty close by i think they're still close by it's Tribe point engineering for mazda yeah it's either fab works or fab tech i don't remember but yeah they I did good work no, blackhawk but that's blackhawk no there's blackhawk or black or blackbird. blackbird there's yeah. blackbird but then there's like fab tech or something there's two hmm. and they're both like really good and i think there's okay are you taking this car Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's uh, go for a test drive, I guess. Let's do it. So you see the 160? I this like is my crazy advanced head unit. Much better than mine, dude. <laughs> oh, that tint is so dark. But I like it. Oh, look at that. Average 22.7 miles a gallon. It's not bad. Yeah, well that's, I was on the freeway the entire time. I'm going like, actually I was in traffic, which is kind of annoying, because this clutch is very heavy. The Mini the mini does on the freeway in traffic like 28, 30. When I, when I got in the car, so Caesar was the last one to drive it, the MPG was like 11.6, the average. <laughs> so it's safe to say he, he was driving it pretty comfortably, or he was driving it pretty well, <laughs> pretty spiritedly. Maybe, probably. Oh my god, I got traction control off. Dude, I'm having so much nostalgia with my STI right now. What's cool though is that we're doing the speed limit too. You see? Very slow. You just need to get more sounds out of this car. That's the same way I feel about the Mini. It just needs more volume. I'm gonna add a lot more volume. <laughs> I'm not confident in my heel toe in this car. <laughs> we can work at that. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I've had this car for like four hours now. <laughs> Why does this feel safe? Because you're in a proper car that isn't, uh, that isn't Mickey Mouse. This is ridiculous. <sighs> I'm like not even near the limits of the car, like at all. And we're on not that good of a tire too. like. I can't imagine this car with like proper tires. Even, I can't imagine this car if I was like more comfortable yet. Like, I'm not even, ah, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just like. What tires would you put on this though? I don't know, 595s. <laughs> Basic ass bitch with a 595. Like Basic, everyone else. Put the, put the cheater cheap tires? Kind of, I mean, they're not, I wouldn't say they're cheater tires. Yeah, they're cheater tires because they're cheap grip. Yeah, sure. So they're cheater tires. Do you have any cool cars here though? Let's see here. About to flex my Evo that I've had for There's four some, hours. <laughs> There's some Mercs right there. Look at that. And an S2K. Ooh, S2K. And then a Civic. That's the sexiest Civic I've seen. Watch me fucking stall <laughs> in front of everyone. Subi. Oh, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna talk to that guy. <laughs> it's like, dude, I love your Subi. He's like, but you're in an Evo. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> I'm going over there. Damn, that fucking fog over my Look at that fog right there. Woo! Man, this is exhilarating. Damn. Are we ready for the handbrake turn right here? No. <laughs> Nothing turns a girl on more than a well-executed handbrake turn. I don't know about that one. That's true, it's from Top Gear. Come on. I'll watch that. I'll watch Adam LZ. <laughs> You're watching the wrong stuff. Adam LZ is a YouTuber. Yeah. Okay. He just flexed on Bro. Oh, but it's only a C43. If you're gonna flex, you gotta flex oh, with the 63. Oh, that turning radius is bad. <laughs> what, with the car? Yeah. 
<laughs> I almost didn't make that. <laughs> All right, got my five hour old car in the hands of a race car driver. So Just, I got everything turned on? Uh, yeah, it probably turned back on by default. So that'll just change, leave that in tarmac. The traction control's on the left if you want to mess it. If you want to turn that off, I don't care. But just don't grind my gears, don't crash. <laughs> it is? Oh, there's that rub. Just roll that entry speed in right here. And no rock chips on there, don't go over the white. <laughs> Lights, dude, that guy's living on edge. Going Correct. down a canyon road with no lights. In the middle of the road, too. <laughs> what are the odds that we catch a WRX <laughs> on the way down from Stunt in the Evo? Uh, <laughs> he can't even give the excuse that he was held back yet. <laughs> That's so funny, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, heck yeah. That's one WRX conquered by the Evo. <laughs> it's Evo season now. We met another. E he has a S2000 and an Evo X, he's, but he was up there with his S2000. He wants to go to Grand J with us. If I do it, he's down. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Let me sit in that seat. Yeah, the Recaro's. Do it. Is it open? Yeah. Oh gosh. Woo! <laughs> Economy car interior. Oh geez. It's not really, you can't really say that kind of, because it does have Recaro's. It's got blank buttons though. Because it's race car. <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> more buttons, more distractions. Not good for race car. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> this quick. <laughs> yeah, these feel nice. Yeah, honestly, you don't even mess with STIs anymore. Evo or Type R. You've been enlightened. <laughs> the, EJ, the EJs really, really got to you, huh? Yeah. Just badly, badly <laughs> abused. Yeah. This is the move. Uh, yeah. Uh, C63s have no resale value. That's you drive why you, it off the lot and you lose like fucking 15k right there. That's why you wait. That's why you wait for it to drop and then you buy it. Yeah, I know. Dude, it's so clean. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why? Like, there's no hair, or dust, any. It's like mind blowing how clean the interior is. Good job, Caesar. I like how Mitsubishi like put that no smoking little tag. <laughs> <laughs> it, it says see you on the dash when you turn the car off. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's a Prius. Watch out. Get ran over. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the most cars my street has had in a while. He's running like a safety vest. Well, he is driving a Prius. You messed up. What? Your door. Why? It has this upper piece. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, I should have gone in. I wish I got an Evo straight out of high school. That would have been the move. Imagine where it would have been now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Good thing you didn't buy the Diva out of high school. Okay, well, At least you would have wide body it. <laughs> we wouldn't no. want that. Keep it. I don't, honestly, I don't even. There's only one wide body kit I like for the Evo. It's called the Street Fighter kit, and it's actually on a race car, like a legit, legit race car that uses it. That's how I found out so about it. So it's like it. a time attack, or it's like a race car. It's a global time attack car. Hmm. Oh. Do you know the company CSF, the cooling company, Radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is their company car? Oh, huh, okay, okay. But it, that's like an all-out, full-on. Hundred thousand dollar Evo. I can I can see that. <laughs> In this car, the horses are on the front. <laughs> you got the. Yeah, you can see. Uh, it's got the. Uh, it has an aftermarket. It's like more of a turbo outlet than a downpipe because it goes from the turbo to the stock cat. So the the cat is still there. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I don't know. I have to swap that out. Yeah, it doesn't look fun because. 
Yeah. <laughs> work from under the car now. Yeah, definitely from under. It's much better to work on this than on the mini. You you remember that? Yeah. Just to do the down. Well, I think you can do the bound pipe without taking out, taking away the front end. You can just. <laughs> so we're gonna hit this on Sunday. Uh, sure. Okay. Now, are you ready for this big trunk reveal? Go ahead. You can lift it from the wing, or from the bottom. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the battery's right there, and, and the windshield wiper is right there. I didn't you, know that. And you can't put the seats down either, because there's bracing there. Damn. But yeah. Okay, that takes up like 20% of your trunk. <laughs> your camera sling. My little sling bag. <laughs> but it's not as bad as the Mini though, come on. Yeah, but in the Mini you can put the but, back seats down. But you'd expect that from a Mini. Yeah, this a is mini. a big, this is kind of a fat a sedan. A mini's a mini. <laughs> a mini is mini. This is... You can still put groceries and stuff like that in here. Yeah, but you can't fit like a, a stroller. You can't fit an engine hoist in there. <laughs> how many, how, when are you expecting to have a, have a stroller in here? Well, that, okay, that was the reason, that was one of the reasons why Caesar, the previous owner, sold to me. Because he couldn't fit a stroller in the trunk. Oh, gosh. Because he had a kid. He's getting an SUV, right? He's getting a truck. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ace is not getting a minivan. Your dad mentioned. My mom said that to him as a joke, and he's like, uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good photo spot. Got a hostel right, over there. <laughs> Tango is <went> down. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see it. Not a STI. Somehow that's Nico's friend. But okay. What? <laughs> You ready to drive the Evo home? Is that what I'm doing? If you want. Is my body ready? You don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, I want to. You can pull it out without scraping though. Or I can do it. No, I got it. <laughs> so for whatever reason, I didn't film when you were driving, but what are your first impressions? I mean... Wait, actually, before you even say this, remember like maybe a year and a half ago, I asked you like, it was like a late night, and I asked you, you drove my STI down something, I said, I asked you the same question. But now it's with a Evo X. <laughs> That's crazy. Instead of a 2004 blah bye. <laughs> so, what are your first thoughts on the Evo X? I mean, it's a lot of fun. You, it's free revving for sure. But <laughs> yeah, once you get that, once you can hear the turbo and more sounds. Yeah, kind of make it louder. Yeah, then it will really become like a full experience. Yeah. Well, damn. I mean, I don't care. It's a stock car and it still kicks ass. You should get one or a Type R after college or whatever. yeah. We'll see, but yeah, it's Integra, congrats. Integra and Type R <laughs> or Integra and Evo. We don't do Subarus anymore. <laughs> so I can't stop smiling. <laughs> Shit. That's how I felt when I drove the four five eight. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah, this car is sick. I'm really happy with it. I've had it for. I think I bought it, like I handed them the check at like 3.30. So I've had it for six hours and 45, yeah, six hours and 45 minutes. You want like a tank and a half of gas? <laughs> or like a full tank maybe? <laughs> oh yeah, I've only used like a little more than half. Dude, I gotta, I really don't want to leave it outside. Like, look at this Miata, look how dirty it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually really dirty right now. What the hell? It's all that stuff on it. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to, the, to this car. There's a couple dings on it, but it's still really clean overall. Alright. It's late, I guess.